MMATruth.com. This video is brought to you by BossRootin.com, ProBoxingSupplies.com, and Power Performance Products, makers of Body Storm and Body Effects. Spencer Lazara, MMAInterviews.tv, here with Shannon Slack. Just got some training done at Extreme Couture in Las Vegas. You're out here helping Gray Maynard for his fight. How's that going? It's good, man. Uh, Gray looks like a monster right now. That dude's he's just tough. So it's great training. There's like, I mean, this is, you got. Jamil Kelly, Olympic silver medalist, Alexis Vieja, Olympic bronze medalist, uh, Andy Rovat, Olympian, myself, uh, Gray, a bunch of other tough guys. Like You got dudes like Vinny walking around, you know, black belt monsters. So it's just a bunch of monsters in here, man. It, it's it's great, man. This is really good training, great boxing coaches. So, But Gray looks real tough, man. So. Give the fans a little background on your wrestling career, where you come from. I know you're only 1-0. You've got some trouble getting some fights. Um, well, background-wise, like I, I'm a wrestler. I wrestled Division One for Old Dominion University. Uh, then I lived at the Olympic Training Center. I was one of the front runners for the 2008 Olympic team. Um, competed a lot internationally at, at 145 pounds, also and 132 pounds. But um, but yeah, I, I started started training, started fighting um, with Black House. Ed Soares is my manager. Um, so been around the country training with guys. Been in Brazil training. So been training for a while and it's just tough to get fights. That is pretty cool that you get to move around. You know, some guys make something their home and sometimes you're tiptoeing around this sport it seems like, but it seems pretty helpful that you can go to all these different places and get working with all these different guys. Yeah, I mean, there's like, why, why limit myself to to one place? Like, obviously I have my home, I have my boxing coach, I have my jiu-jitsu coach, but if I can get the input of someone else, then that's only going to help me get better. So I look at it as, as a lot of guys fight, I compete. You know, these these guys, like everything shouldn't be personal. This is not, like, I'm not fighting you, I'm competing against you. I'll punch you in the face and then take you out for a drink afterwards. It's fine. It's fine with me. We're both getting paid. This is what we do for a living. So it's just compete. And then anytime you compete, you got to do everything you can possibly do to get better. That's why I'm out here right now. So, so you don't believe in this like nonsense going on a little bit? John Jones, Rashad Evans, you know, kind of that going on, and they're in the same team, didn't want to fight each other? I think that's a different story. Like, it's a different story, and it's not. They're, they said they weren't going to fight each other and all this and that. If, if you're really that close, then you probably shouldn't fight each other anyway. But at the same time, like, this is a job, man. Like, it's, you know... I just I don't know. That's a weird situation, but at the same time, it's a job. You know, if I if if I have to fight my brother, I'm gonna fight my brother. You know, and then then we're gonna be fine afterwards. But I, I would never say like, oh, I'm not gonna fight this guy because I'll, I'll fight you. I'll fight you right now. So nah, you hopefully probably, not. You probably beat me up. I don't want I don't want no parts of this right here. Highly unlikely. So, Gray, you mentioned Gray's just so strong. He's like one of the strongest guys you've ever wrestled with. He, you get him on the cage, you say, and it's, it's a wrap. Yeah, it's, that, that guy is like, I mean, to say how strong he is, you'd have to go with him. I mean, I, I've competed at the highest levels, uh, internationally, Olympic level wrestling, and I've never wrestled somebody as strong as Gray. And not only that, Gray can wrestle. Like, a lot of guys are wrestlers and can wrestle, but Gray can wrestle. Like, he's a technician, and he's that strong. What makes it, it's even hard. If, you, if he puts you against a cage, I mean, you know, I train with 75, with 70 pounders, 85 pounders, and none of them guys are as strong as Gray. You know, those dudes, thought, like, closest to that, like, I train with Mark Munoz. Mark Munoz is an 85 pounder. And, like, I feel like when Munoz gets a hold of me, you know, that's how it feels when Gray gets a hold of me. It's a different type of strength. Dre, Gray's got that, that crushing strength, too. You know, guys like me have that, that explosion. Gray's, like, if, if I grab you, you're not going anywhere type of strength, you know. So he's just super strong. Like, if he can put anyone against a cage, it's over. It's over. Oh. So say something to the post promoters out there. Shout out to them. Who do you want to fight? You know, where do you want to get this fight, and how are we going to do that? Uh, who do I want to fight? You know, I want to fight a, a bunch of guys. I'd really still like to fight Kid Yamamoto. Um, that fight fell through. Um, I'd like to fight any 45-pounder. Any 45-pounder. Like, I'd love to fight Mike Brown. I'd love to fight, uh, I mean, any of those guys. Like, I don't, I don't have anything against any of them, you know, I, but I'd, I'd like to fight any of them. So, 
You know, if you got a fight, send it my way. You know, I'll fight the dudes that are 1 and 0, 30 and 0, 0 and 30, 1 and 8, 1 and 9, 9 and 1. It doesn't matter. If you got a fight, you're a professional, I will fight you. The MMA Truth.com. Godspeed and party on. This video is brought to you by BossRootin.com, ProBoxingSupplies.com, and Power Performance Products, makers of Body Storm and Body Effects.